Hello, Lego Minecraft Bros here, back with the fourth update to our Lego Avengers Compound mock. In this update, we will mainly focus on the new improvements to the main compound building by exploring the recently completed interior, incorporating rooms inspired by a variety of MCU movies and TV shows. We will split this video into two parts, a quick cinematic of images of the compound while being compared to the actual building, followed by a walkthrough of the new additions we've added since the last update. Hope you enjoy!
Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that little cinematic. We'll now start the walkthrough portion of the video with the main compound building. Starting at the front of the building, you can see that we still have the second floor main window facade. And on the first floor below, we still have all the black door frames lining the entrance. Moving to the roof of the building, you can see that we finished the, all the light gray tiling and have improved it by adding some more air conditioning units and other rooftop machinery. The large Avengers logo is still present on the side of the building. And we also added three dividers to both the side windows, making the windows more accurate to the movies. We replaced the old courtyard with new skylights, which gives better lighting to the interior and also makes it possible to recreate the scene where the Hulk sees the Sanctuary 2 once he's finished his snap. Now we can make our way to the back of the build. We added two new outdoor staircases leading up to the bedrooms, giving a second access point to the rooms. Below, we created a railing for the second floor back entrance to increase safety, and we added Scott eating his tacos and nearly being blown away from the arriving Benatar. We were also able to include the entrance gate and security camera that Scott uses to get access into the compound. Taking a quick look through the back windows, we are able to see the new interior to the kitchen conference room, and lounge. Here we have a better look into the second floor back interior. We'll start with the kitchen where we've added new stools, a fridge, and a more accurate color scheme for the counters. Next you can move to the conference room from Civil War. As you can see not much has changed from last time. We still have a nice wooden table and a couple of screens. Here is a lounge, also seen in Civil War, in close proximity to the kitchen. The lounge has some nougat couches and a few new chairs to complement it. Here we arrive at the second floor security check, where we have another security camera, a desk, scanning screen, and a planter. We also were able to add a railing going up the stairs to the top floors. This brings us to the main interior of the area. We can start by looking at the top seating area seen in Avengers Endgame. It has some grey furniture with some blue accent pillows, an unorganized table to represent the time that they're going through, and a dark tan carpet. We can make our way over to the medical bay with a small hospital bed and a small amount of cupboards and counter space. On the opposite side of the top floor, we have the Stark Gauntlet Assembly Chamber seen in Endgame with a round viewing window and some controls to help them put the Infinity Stones in the right place. Now we arrive in the main foyer where we switched up the floor design, added two new staircases on either side, two tan chairs for a little rest spot, a small table up front, some planters, and the iron spider suit chamber from the end of Spider-Man Homecoming. Here we have the two bedrooms in the compound. They're both meant to represent Wanda's as she has the only bedrooms we've seen. One of them is from Civil War with a guitar, a red bed, and some hats. And the other one representing her is from WandaVision with a TV and a blue and white bed. On the upper part of the wall on the ground floor, we've added a new Avengers logo hanging right above the main entrance surrounded by more security cameras on either side and holographic boards displaying relevant information. In the main floor hallway, we've added more planters, a reception desk with a security check, and a small lobby for people waiting. We populated the hallway with a new water cooler, coffee maker, and back door security check. Now we arrive at the lab. As you can see, we add a new floor pattern. On this table, we put two cases of pin particles, the case that Cap uses to take the stones back in time, two new chairs, and a toolkit. On this side of the room, we add a new shelving unit, gas canister, garbage can, and another contraption that the Avengers use to hold the Infinity Gauntlet. We make our way over to the main floor lounge, which is a very popular room in the movies. We've added new shelves, snacks for Thor, and FaceTime screens on the wall to represent Black Widow 
calling the other Avengers. Finally, we arrive at the Hall of Armor, which has no new significant changes. We still have all the same suits being displayed. Now we can quickly go over to view the updates to the hangar. Here's our Avengers hangar. As you can see, there hasn't been anything added since the most recent update, since we feel mostly satisfied with the current condition of the build. With that said, for the next update, we'll be looking to create and possibly add the quantum suit testing room seen in Endgame. We still have all the Avengers in their quantum suits walking up to the quantum tunnel. We still have all the computers, some boxes, and mostly everything else has stayed the same since the last update. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video.